Spick and Span. The railway inspector was coming to the island of Sodor. Signals and points were checked. Platforms were scrubbed. And coaches and freight cars were pushed into their proper sidings. Sir Topham Hatt came to see the engines at the shed. The railway inspector arrives today, he said. What's the railway inspector? Percy asked. It's pronounced railway inspector, Gordon corrected. He comes to check the railway every year, said Thomas. And make sure everything is spick and span, Duck added. And this year, he's going to give a special prize to the best engine, said Sir Topham Hatt. So I want you all to look your best. A special prize, puffed Thomas. I wonder if we can win, Percy thought. Pa, replied Gordon. He's bound to give to an expression. He'll never choose any of you common tank engines. He'll choose a sh strong engines like us. Or an enterprising engine like me, said Henry. I think he'll give it to a really splendid red engine, asked J added James. Take no notice of them, said Duck. They're just being puffed up in their smoke boxes. A really useful engine can look as grand as any engine, Thomas added. Meanwhile, Duck was helping out on Thomas's branch line, and Thomas and Percy were filling in for Mavis at the quarry, but as the stone was loaded onto Thomas's cars, the last load which was on top of Thomas poured onto him. Help! Help! cried Thomas, but it was no use. Thomas's blue paint was covered in dust from smoke box to bunker. Yuck! coughed Thomas. Now you'll never win first prize, Percy worried. Don't worry, said Thomas. All I need is a good washdown. While Thomas made his way to the wash, Derek took his cars for him. But as Thomas arrived, Henry was there. Please hurry up. I need to get cleaned for the inspection, said Thomas. There's no point of you being cleaned, but Emery snorted. I'm going to be the most enterprising engine there. Rubbish, said Thomas. I'll show you who will win first prize. And he steamed away to help Percy. Percy and Thomas had to double head a train of stone to the harbour. But when they arrived, they saw Sir Topham Hatt and the railway inspector at the station. Stepping out of Daisy. Boss my bothers, Thomas gasped. The railway inspector is here, but I'm still dirty. And he he headed back to the washdown. But every time he came to the washdown, the engines would say... There's no point in you being cleaned. Botheration, Thomas would reply. But the time Thomas and Percy were done with their work, they headed to the washdown. But as, as they arrived at the washdown, Gordon was there. There we go, all clean, Gordon said grandly. Poor Thomas was worried that he wouldn't win at the yards. Gordon, James and Henry were waiting for the railway inspector. The sunlight makes my dome sparkle, said Gordon. It makes my paint look shinier than ever, added James. And it makes me feel like I came back from the cr crew again, said Henry. The engines were trying to find the sunniest spot at the yards. So, James backed up. But he didn't see Donald shunting some coal cars for a goods train, ready for him and Douglas. Oh no, look out, Donald cried. But it was too late. The railway, 
the rails were slippery, and James couldn't stop in time. He crashed into the freight cars. Oh no! James puffed. Coal flew into the air and pulled onto the tracks, and all over Gorton, James and Henry. They weren't gleaming and shining anymore. Sir Topham Hatt and the railway inspector arrived. These engines are filthy, the railway inspector said crossly. I've never seen so much coal dust. Then, Gordon and Henry began to feel stuffed up. And the big engines gave a great sneeze. Ah, show! Face spluttered. Coal dust shot into the air and landed on Sir Topham Hatt and the railway inspector. Sorry, coughed Gordon. Goose indeed, Donald called out. Then Thomas, Percy and Duck arrived. Well, 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 chuckled Duck. First Henry wishes ashes and at some naughty boys. And then both him and Gordon accidentally blew coal at Sir Topham Hatt and the railway inspector. The engines looked down at their buffers embarrassed. The railway inspector looked at the three tank engines. You three are just what engines should look like, he said proudly. Soon, the engines won first prize. I'm glad we came to the inspection, said Thomas. It's just like you said, said Percy. A really useful engine can look as grand as any engine.